All right, what is up, everyone? Um, number one, I want to say, you know, uh, I'm a very lucky dude to be able to, like, you know, work, you know, in gaming and entertainment to be, like, you know, to entertain you guys, to play games every day. Um, uh, so thank you for the opportunity. And thank you for all, like, you know, the companies that send me cool stuff. Uh, 2K, awesome, great friends over there. And um, just realized the top of my head's being cut off by the camera. That's all right. So... Uh, they sent me this this awesome red box. I mean, it obviously has to do with 2K. And, you know, I know they've been launching, like, a bunch of games coming to Nintendo Switch, like Bioshock and XCOM, which is awesome. They're great games, and especially games like XCOM, you know, uh, I, I do mostly FPSs on stream, so, but being able to kind of, like, you know, sit in bed or, you know, on the couch and play some XCOM is really cool. But the thing is, I, I don't think a 16-pound 16 16 box is what what I, you know, is the easy solution for what's inside this box, right? So I, I, I don't know what's in here. Oh, actually, I'm going to actually move up the screen a little bit. But uh, I, I don't know what's in here. I'm excited to open it up. And uh, let's let's check it out. So, again, it's just red all the way around. You can see the seam over here. We're going to lift it. And uh, there are a few, you know, logos right over here. And what we got is... <sighs> This is important. Gearbox 2K for Axis. Now, you probably already know, but if you ever played uh, GTA 5, 4, whatever, uh, 2K also owns Rockstar, which is really cool. So I, I, I think, you know, getting some kind of like, you know, oh, how would you ever put GTA 5 on the Nintendo Switch? I don't even know. But um, maybe next gen. But let's start opening this up. And inside is a note. Oh, that's nice. We hope you are safe and well. To celebrate the launch of some of our biggest 2K titles on Nintendo Switch, we're sending out this care package for you to enjoy. We hope the contents make a life a little bit more comfortable at home whilst playing some of our greatest titles. So relax, kick back, and play XCOM 2, Bioshock the Collection, uh, or Borderlands Legendary Collection, wherever you want. Oh yeah, Borderlands, of course Borderlands. Uh, that'd be awesome on handheld. If you fancy showing some love on social, feel free to tag us and use hashtag 2K Switch. Much love, 2K. That's super nice, you know? This is, you know, like... Yeah, I mean, not being able to leave the home. Really cool. Oh! You know, I had this turned around the wrong way. Look at this. Bam! So yeah, Bioshock, XCOM, Borderlands. What's going to be inside? Again, this is a very heavy, heavy box. If it was just the game, I don't know, maybe it's like figurines. Like, anyone have any guesses what's in here? Don't answer in chat. I'm recording this live on Twitch. Don't answer if you've seen, like, you know, another content creator post the stuff. So please don't spoil it for me. Um, also, I really need to get my beard properly done. This is a weird, weird cup. Anyway, that's what I get for trying to trim myself. So... Yeah, imagine it was like three Nintendo Switches in here that were like each themed. No one needs three Nintendo Switches. That would be crazy. I mean, unless they were for giveaway. No, it's a really cool design. So my question is, uh, which do you guys want to open up first? Uh, Bioshock 1 is, I think, one of the greatest games ever made. One of the greatest. I played it over, over and over many times. XCOM, incredible turn-based. I remember my first turn-based games back. On the Sega Genesis days, I played Shining Force 1 and 2, like, tons and tons of hours. XCOM, awesome strategy game. And then you have, you have Borderlands, which is, you know, like, they invented the looter shooter. So, I think we ought to start off with Borderlands. Borderlands 3 was amazing last year. Uh, and there we go. It's, uh... We're gonna go ahead and pull this back. And let's check it out. What's gonna be inside the box? I, d I don't know. So, whatever's in there feels like a little bit loose. I'm not seeing any other hints on the box over here. So, here we go. Let's, uh, let's carefully open. Yeah, we have puppies in there. Alright, hang on. I don't even know what's inside, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carefully unveil. Alright, so here we go. So, let me get, get into focus. Yeah, 
A40 speaker. Oh. Oh, look at that. This one actually has references to three other games. Maybe, not, maybe each box is not exactly themed. So let's see here. Okay, so these are like Astro, like, you know, headset plates, which is kind of cool. So you got one for, like, you know, you got, uh, Borderlands Bioshock XCOM. Does that mean we actually gave me a freaking, like, Astro headset? Next up, oh, check it out. It's a hat, or, or, you know, hang on. It's not underwear, it's like a... The hat. Hang on. I'm not really good at wearing hats. A beanie. Yeah. I am. I am not good. I'm not a hat person. How do hats work? I think hats are for people. You'd think hats would be for people who don't have hair, but no. I think they work better for people who have hair. So I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's nice quality though. You can tell. Hang on. It's 95% uh, cotton and 5% elastic. Uh, the fact that so much cotton is, is really nice, but it's got the... It's got the uh, Borderlands logo right there, which is very nice. No, no, it's, it's, it's a hat. It's gotta be a hat. Alright, so. Actually, just place these in there. Next up, uh, looks like stickers. Oh, it's like a, it's like a skin kit for Nintendo Switch. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, there we go. Got a Borderlands, like, you know, um, to skin it. Pretty nice. That's pretty cool. Plus, I mean, it doesn't hurt that red and white is like my, uh, is like my brand's colors, you know, Swifter logo. So that works. And now we got this over here. All right. Got the Borderlands loot chest on the front. And, uh, Hang on, let me reduce this a little bit. Ah, yes. The only, it's funny, I own a standing desk, but I never use it to actually, like, you know, for standing purposes. It's like my overpriced camera control. Ah, I like the look of a glossy box. Hang on, let's look at the details. Ah, yes, I see the logo on the side. Yes, it's an... It's, uh... It's an Astro headset. Look at that. I like the, the robot graphics on the side. Is that like the, the Astro mascot? Let me make sure I don't like destroy it. But hey. Yeah, very nice, right? Super generous gift. Um, do we know which... Do any of you guys know just by looking at it which Astros these are? The A40? Oh, duh. The other thing said A40. Yeah, so yeah. Super nice. Let's... uh. I'm not sponsored by, by Astro or anything. You know, if they wanted to, you know, just hit me up. Slide in my DMs. But, um, yeah. Seemed like a very hefty headset. Oh, yeah. Nice. And we should probably just put the plate on the side, right? Like, might as well. So, hang on. So, let's see. I, I kind of know how these work. Uh, I'm, I'm typically an earbud guy because, you know, no hair. And, although, this lab was actually pretty comfortable, surprisingly. So, let's remove that. Yep. Yep. Didn't drop anything. And let's grab... Let's see here. The Borderlands... Oh, how's this packaged? Slide it out. Anyway, you'd put one of these... on the side. And we'll do that a bit later. But yeah. Very nice. All right, sweet. So that's box number one. Very generous. Thank you to 2K and Astro for that. Um, how will I organize this? I think I will gently put this on the floor until we are ready. So next, we got two more. All right, so next up, once again, we've got... got XCOM and Bioshock. Let's do XCOM first. Uh, I see some folks in chat suggesting that I give it away. Um, if there was going to be like a TwitchCon or E3 something, you know, soon, that would have been nice. 
but I don't feel comfortable shipping anything. What if, like, you know, my house is infested with, you know, this virus, right? Why would I want to send it to anyone? Yes, maybe that's just an excuse to keep the headset for myself. So, let's take a look here. Oh. Vigolo Confido. What does that stand for again? I'm sure it's something to do with vigilance and and some. Oh, is this a is this a? Oh, it's a tote. For some, for at first I thought it was an apron. That was a tote bag. All right, I thought it was an apron too. All right, tote bag, nice. All right, let's see here. Next up. Oh wow. Look at this. This is like a you can look at the texture on this thing. This is this is good quality right here. I like the way the sound this feels. Alright, hang on. Hang on, friends. We gotta this is like oh, like a robe. Oh that's yeah, that's a nice oh this feels good. Oh, hang on. Is there not like a... Oh, it's right here. You know, yes, this is supposed to be used to kind of secure the... Secure it, but you know what? Actually, it's a smarter way to do that. Gotta make sure it's even at the center. There we go. This is a pretty great use for it right here. Yeah, there we go. I'm feeling this. Look at that. I feel like Ryu now, you know? That's the trademark of uh, Capcom, by the way. All right, so what else we got in here? Huh. It feels like it's like, you know, it's like a bean bag sort of thing. Weedy bag. So I'm guessing there's wheat in these bags. Um, what is it for though? Like, it's... Is it a neck rest? Wheat. Oh. Do you heat it up? Do you microwave it? It's for my neck? Interesting. I'll have to research that a bit later. It smells nice though, weirdly. Um... Next up. Ooh. X-ray psionic candle. I don't like candles in my home, really, because I'm always worried I'm going to burn down my place. But I do like the scent of them. Oh, this is like a, a green. Let me, let me take a sniff here. Oh, that's nice. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, though. Hey, Candy, are you here? Uh, of course. She's got a better sense of smell than I do. I don't know. It's got a kind of foresty kind of scent to it. Don't worry, guys. You know, we thought by 2020, smell-o-vision would be a real thing. You guys could just smell. But we're getting pretty close. Yeah. All right, Candy, don't no need to be on camera, but I just need to smell this. Let me... What does it smell like? She doesn't know either. It smells delightful, though. All right. Yeah, yeah. We'll negotiate afterwards. All right, next time. Um, next up. Oh yes, XCOM radiation bath salts. Oh, how nice is that? All right, let's see. I can smell bath salts, right? I mean, you're not supposed to, right? Oh, it smells very like a spa. Huh. Oh, that's nice. I like the uh, I like the face on there. Radiation bath salts. Fun idea. Oh, but on the front of the smell vision there's actually, uh... I forgot which country. But a researcher made a device with, like, three sensors on it or something. But basically, if you lick it, lick the device, they can recreate... Or maybe it has seven sensors on it. If you lick the device, it can recreate, like, many different tastes, which is kind of cool. Um... I only read the headline and read the article. So, you know, Google that on your own. And, uh, yeah, that was the, uh, that was the XCOM box. So you have, like, you know, a tote bag, the salts, the, 
the the neck thing, the candle, and this robe, which I'm I'm not taking off. So very nice once again. I'm gonna put that down on the floor. All right, we got one more, one more. They're trying to tell me to shower. So does my wife, but you know what? She's not my boss. So let's go ahead and check out the Bioshock box again. Is there anyone out there that has not played Bioshock 1? The entire Bioshock series is great. Infinite was great. 2 was great. Um, is there anyone out there who has not played Bioshock 1? If you've not played uh, Bioshock 1... Man, you gotta play Bioshock. It, was one, it is one of the greatest games ever made. It just is. And if you have a Switch, I guess it's a perfect opportunity. But let, let's check this out. It is one of the greatest games ever made. All right, let's go ahead. Two was very good. One is my favorite. Ah, uh, here's the lighthouse. Check that out. Oh, what is this though? I guess it's just like a, like a cloth. I think it's just a cloth. What is it for? I'll put it down. It looks like, it looks like the kind of thing you'd put down on a table. Like it's because look look at the texture. It's 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 like it's a quality. Like, kind of like, you know, kind of texture to it. It's, I don't even know what it's made out of, but let's put it down for now. Memory injection. What's a memory injection? And why would it... I'm going to say memory injection is like a... Be like a photo, right? Oh, is it glass? Oh, is it glass for clean glasses? Actually, that, that'd be great because if you think that... Be, I, I don't know if it is. It looks kind of a little bit too textured. Because my, my glasses are a little bit on the foggy side right now. You could be right. Or I could have ruined whatever this was. Could be. I would show you guys how clean my glasses are now, but... That's not what this is about. You know, I, wouldn't, I don't think I'd actually want to use that for that. Lighthouse and Bioshock 1 is iconic. It's the entryway. Alright, so let's see. Next up. Oh! Oh yeah, maybe it's for cleaning uh, the Nintendo Switch. That makes more sense. Alright, let's see. Ah! Oh. Memory injection? 128 gig memory card. Hang on, the, the light's really bright over here. But yeah, sweet. Uh, I am very far behind on my, my grades, so this is an A1 grade SD. Oh, so nice. Very nice. Uh, I think I've got a 120 in my current Switch, but probably not this fast. Next up. Oh. Little Sister Socks. Wow. Wow. Uh, I've, uh... I got something to show you guys really quick. Hang on. It's right here. It's right up actually here. Not, not into it, but yeah. Anyone recognize this guy? Songbird from Bioshock Infinite. Really nice collector's piece item. Uh, what I'd love though is like a is like a big daddy statue that's like on the leveling quality of some of the statues up back here. But yeah. Songbird. Yeah. I also got a little sister statue somewhere around here. A tiny one, but I, I don't know where it is right now. Uh, let me be careful with that. Nice though, right? I think it's nice. Just checking around in case it's... Yeah, I don't know where it is. Alright, let's move on. Put on the socks? No, you know, usually I would just for fun for the video, but I, I actually like these and the... I kind of want to keep them the way they are, so... Uh, you know, I can have lulls with the with the robe, but no, not with the... Not with the socks. And here we go. Ah! A carrying case. Nintendo Switch. Yeah, nice. So you got, like, you know... The strap, got a spot for like the cards, and you know, I guess accessories, whatever in there. Nice, very nice. Looks like it could like, you know, take a hit. No, there's no Nintendo Switch in there, guys. Imagine if they sent Nintendo Switches to everyone. I feel like Nintendo Switch is already hard enough to get. Oh, check it out. Coasters. I mean, you know, gotta... Gotta make my own drinks at home now, right? Can't leave the house really for that stuff. It's nice, like... Huh. Yeah, they're wooden. 
wooden coasters. I like it. Good quality. And hang on, there's one more. Ah. It's a heart. Is that maybe one of the logos off of the uh, the plasmids in Bioshock? Or is that maybe Mafia? It looks like a heart with bullet holes in it. I don't know. Very nice. And there's one more. Nintendo branded lighthouse. What do we got here? I'm not sure what this is. Oh, I guess we will be once we take off the sleeve. It's a Nintendo item. I'm trying not to destroy this thing. But I think I might have to. It's for the good of the video. Oh, I really don't want to. Oh, there we go. Ah! I think it's a controller. Ah, there we go. Ah, nice! One of the pro controllers. I use one of these already for you now. For even Animal Crossing. But it's always handy. Now we got a second one. There we go. You know, sometimes... Maybe a friend will be over. I'm just kidding. Let me make up lies. I don't have real friends in life, guys. That's not a real thing. But if I did, we'd have to fight over who got the pro controller, who got the... The, uh, the Joy-Cons. Now, if that ever did happen where I got a friend in real life... Problem solved. Look at me. I'm trying to trick you guys. <laughs> LOL. Real life friends. Who needs real life friends when I can play Bioshock 1 over and over again on Nintendo Switch? You know what I mean? But yeah. Um, that's, that's a wrap. Big thank you for the, for the very cool care package from, uh, from, uh, from, from 2K. Um, very excited for X. XCOM's a perfect fit, fit, uh, fit for Nintendo Switch. Uh, Borderlands is awesome. I wonder if it has, like, you know, cross save support. Um, Every game that comes on Nintendo Switch should have cross save, um, and uh, and then Bioshock, XCOM, it's perfect for the Switch. But there we go. Thank you very much to everyone watching. Thank you again for, to Two uh, K for sending me all this cool stuff. New these boxes again. I said it'd be in the video, but I mean it. Like you know, I'm I'm just a very lucky guy to be to be you know just you know <sighs> spoiled. I've been spoiled. So, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, definitely check out, you know, if you have a Nintendo Switch and you have not played Bioshock 1, you gotta play it. You gotta play it. XCOM is awesome. Turn-based combat. Borderlands. You shoot and you loot and everyone loves that. Great for multiplayer. Bioshock 1. You gotta play Bioshock 1. I'll play it again on stream soon, I'm sure. So thank you so much, guys. I'm gonna shout out video and, you yeah. know, Thanks for all the gifts. Great stuff, dudes. Thank you. I'll see you next time.